What's up guys, so I am still here at San Diego Comic Con and today I wanted to do an episode, hopefully the final episode of the $50 Funko Pop Collection Challenge. So let's go back to the office and bring you up to speed at least of all the things that I'm looking for and how this is gonna go today. So to bring everybody up to speed, since it's been a while since I've done an episode, sorry about that. Overall goal of this series is to buy a $100 Funko Pop from every single Funko Pop category, starting with just a $50 bill. Since the last video guys, I knocked off the Pop MLB category in the form of Mr. Met, which left us with the balance of $577.10. I had an auction a while back, guys, that I sold a handful of different things, and those ended up selling after fees for $125.60, which bringing that back to the previous balance, guys, that gives us $702.70. With that money that I had, guys, I ended up knocking off another $100 Funko Pop category. In the category of 8-bit, guys, I ended up getting the 500-piece 8-bit Freddy Funko Glow. Honestly, out of any of the 8-bit pops, guys, that I wanted to knock off for this category, I think this was a great one for sure. I ended up getting a pretty good deal on this one, guys, so my balance after buying this one is $614.75. Which brings me to current day, guys. I have five more categories left to finish off this series. Those categories include Hockey, Sanrio, South Park, Conan, and Ugly Doll, five super random categories. So I'm hoping that San Diego Comic-Con can provide me with the ones that I am looking for because I would love to finish the series. So let's head back to Mason in San Diego to see what's going on. All right, so we're back here at the con, guys. I wanna go to every different place that I can find Funko Pops at, hopefully finding the things that I can check off of the list and also see if we can find some really expensive stuff too. I think it would be fun to you know highlight some grail pieces. I'm not gonna lie, folks. I am definitely a little overwhelmed because because there is so much going on here. Literally so many booths to look at, so I think this might be a pretty long video. All right, this is the first booth that I've came across that might have potential grails, so we're gonna go on in. So of the remaining categories that I'm still looking for today, guys, I don't know if they really have many grails in here. It's a lot of mid-level stuff, but still some fun stuff that I can show off. I think the more expensive things that I found, guys, would be these chases right here. And uh, I don't know, I'm not really seeing any other grails. But if you wanna take a look at some of the chases that they do have in here, they have some pretty good ones, some old ones, some new ones. Honestly, it's a pretty good mix. All right, next place I'm gonna hit up, guys, is Anastasia. I wonder if they've got any good grails. So up here seems to be where they're more like expensive stuff is i'm not really seeing anything that's like more than 100 bucks that i can tell but i mean there's still some really cool old ones in here guys like teen wolf that's up there you got thumper from disney some tech and what else we got here the rocco chase from rocco's modern life i do like that one i love the nickelodeon stuff i turned around and i found some other really good stuff guys like you got ray gun stewie right there some original smurfs pops in there Firefly, okay, so some good ones. Right as I was moving along, guys, they put up a Scott Pilgrim set that's up here, guys. That's definitely some ones that you don't see often either. You got a couple of other older ones, like some Disney in there as well, but if you wanna take a look at some of the other stuff they have, good selection. Now, if we're looking for Mega Grails, guys, it's definitely gonna be in this booth over here at seven bucks a pop. Like, if you wanna take a look at some of the crazy heavy hitters that they have in here, guys, like the really expensive Freddy Funkos, you have some, the Buzz Lightyear ones right here. Like these guys are going, we got like 4,000 right there for that one, 7,500, I mean, come on. But there are some mega grail Freddy Funkos in here, guys. There are plenty of them in here. You got the Flux ones, which are pretty cool. Some of the Stranger Things ones that are down in there as well. The Genie, which is a great one, I mean, guys they have so many rare freddies in here and it's not just freddies folks i mean they got some other really good things as well like the mike wazowski in there the metallic dwee monkey we also have frankenberry booberry count chocula the freddy versions of those as well up front i mean guys just check out the massive amount of grills that they have in here absolute heat there is so much good stuff in here I mean, it's hard to highlight it all. Here's the other side of this cabinet, guys, and they have absolutely some crazy ones, guys. I can't really get a good shot of it, guys, because there's a lot of people here, but if you want to zoom in and check out some of the ones that they have, there they are. Okay, I came across my next booth, guys, and they have some really cool stuff. So if we're coming in here, guys, you got your Hall H Ahsoka. They got that at $1,000. A bunch of different Freddy Funkos as well. The colored Scooby-Doo's, Jolly Roger, a bunch of other Freddies. You got Kobe in there. Who else we got? We got Abominable Snowman as well, the Creeper. So as far as Grails goes, most expensive stuff, I mean, they definitely have you covered. But unfortunately for me, guys, in anything $100 pop-wise that I'm looking for, I am not seeing anything yet, so I think we're gonna head to the next booth. This booth right here, guys, is my first actual sign of finding anything that I'm looking for. So I still need the coning category. I'm not entirely sure if any of these are at $100, though. 
We have Conan as the Joker, the Stormtrooper, Ghostbuster Conan, Superman, and also Woody. I'll do a little bit more research and see if these are ones that I need that are at that $100 price point. If they are, one is definitely coming home with me. But as far as other Grails goes, guys, they definitely have some good ones. You can see that Alien back there at $400. That's a great one. The Mumra, which is pretty cool, at $600. A couple of different Kobe's. The Fred and Barney right there. You got the metallic looking Dave as well. So I don't know. Like I said, I'm going to do the research on the cone and I'll get back to you. The next day. All right, folks, it is the next day. I'm actually in the con early, which is kind of nice. Back at this booth that we showed off yesterday, and they actually have some Grails in here that I don't think I showed off guys so if you want to take a look i'm not seeing anything right off the bat that i need for the challenge but if you want to take a look they have a signed manny pacquiao proto you got dirk nowitzki some really rare nba pops guys like andrew wiggins for some reason is one of those rare pops he's like not the craziest player if you guys know andrew wiggins but his pop is pretty darn rare they have the sam dean crowley three pack you have the harry potter la comic-con exclusive what else solely in there scorpion mumra you have a Freddy Funko, Rajon Rondo, Sailor V, Gremlins, Duck Dodgers. I mean, there are some really good grails in here, guys, that are definitely heavy hitters. Like if we swing over here, guys, you got Sloth from the Goonies, Derek Rose, Russell Westbrook, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Freddy Funko. I think that's as Doctor Who. You got Mr. Toe. That's one that I want to pick up for my personal collection someday. But uh, anyways, if you want to see some of the other ones they have down there. Ooh, the original thing is really cool too. And then they have one more case over here, guys, that's full of some prototypes. I don't know if you guys have any prototypes in your collection. I have a couple, but if you guys want to see right here, they have some Disney ones with like Prince John. We also have Scar from The Lion King. There's, uh, I think, the Miraculous Ladybug. I can't remember her name. Ladybug Noir, I believe. Cat Noir. I you know those two characters anyways guys some more Freddy funkos a luke skywalker right there you have a conan that's a 50 dollars one i wish it was a hundred dollar one we would definitely pick that up that's a category i need but you got the mandalorian the batman chase what else oh original goofy with the really like scary looking eyes and then a couple other ones i actually have that conor mcgregor guys for the ufc category so that's pretty cool but taking a look at everything else that is in here guys some good stuff so i forgot to mention guys i also came back to the funko booth right here because today is the day that i'm actually going to buy my exclusives i know it really has nothing to do with the rare pops and everything like that but i figured i would throw it in this video as well so here in a little bit guys i'm going to go to the line and get all the exclusives that i am looking for it's going to be a good time so if you guys are curious of all the different exclusives that they have i did show it off in my first video right here but they have a nice organized list right here. So I mind this, I know that I'm gonna get a good handful of these. I'm excited. For some reason my audio cut out guys, but I did get my Funko Booth bag right there full of goodies. I ended up stopping by Plastic Empire and they had a bunch of fun day stuff that they had from the night before and they had tons of things. That Shredder is really cool that's up there guys, that Freddy Funko is Shredder and tons of other fun goodies right there. They also had some other like lower end stuff from fun days and some prototypes too. All right, folks, a little time has passed, but I came across another booth that looks like they have some pretty solid stuff. Mind you, I don't know if they have any of the $100 pops that I'm looking for, but something that's pretty related. Like I noticed that they have the Conan Stormtrooper right there. That's not the $100 one that we're looking for, unfortunately. I'm a big collector of the MLB mascots as well, guys, and that is one that I have been looking for. It's like a Philly, like, stadium exclusive or whatever, so... I don't know, that one's a pretty cool one though. But if you guys wanna take a look, there is a lot of different things. Ricky Rubio's a random NBA pop that I don't know if I've ever seen, but if you guys wanna take a look, they got some good stuff. Dude, I gotta say, this convention hall is absolutely nuts. I mean, we could walk forever and ever and I could probably find new stuff, but I think I found my next stop right there. So yeah, this right here, guys, is the Toy Temple booth. It looks like it has a lot of different chases and some autographs. If we're looking back here, guys, a lot of different like anime stuff, some horror autographs. You got Ghostface right over there, which is pretty cool but uh yeah there's plenty of different stuff to choose from nothing that i'm looking for unfortunately i am back at home and i am sad to say that well i didn't end up finding any of the hundred dollar funko pops i needed san diego comic-con for me was very overwhelming i didn't get there the first day and maybe i could have found some of the things that i was looking for if i did go on one of those first days but i'll be honest the con was super crazy guys i probably could have found a couple other booths that were selling some stuff but unfortunately i just didn't come across anything that i was looking for although i did talk about guys the Funko booth and I guess I can show off my haul that I got from there 
So here's my haul real quick, guys, of everything that I got from the Funko booth at San Diego Comic-Con. We can start off with the really cool Freddy, I would guess say Funko family pops of the of the con. So we have the Freddy Funko Mayor right there, guys, limited to 3,000 pieces. That was definitely a great pickup. Roller driving Franny is cool as well. That one's limited to 1,500 pieces. And also Pizzeria Proto, he is super cute. He's got his little pizza in hand, limited to 1,500 pieces, just like Franny. I got the limited piece ones, guys, over at C2E2, so I figured I would you know complete the set so far and pick up these three this one i love a lot guys i love the sesame street pops i actually have a collection of them over here on this shelf so this elmo will definitely make a great addition to that but we got elmo with rocco which is awesome guys and then we have marvin the martian i love the looney tunes pops so i figured i need to get this one kermit with the mug guys i love kermit with the mug guys i love the muppets pops i don't own a ton of them because they're very rare and very expensive but i figured this was a great one to get this one's for my wife right here guys this is edna mode from the incredibles and i gotta say this one is really fun guys i love her expression she's got the newspaper in hand and that to a t and the snoopy with beagle scouts guys with the little woodstocks on top of his hat as i like to call him this one looks great i have the original one and i figure i wanted to add this one to my collection as well i love the peanuts pops and then the three up top that i have right here guys we have zero which is limited to three thousand piece synthesis that glows in the dark and also sugar from one piece which is a really cool one and it's scented i believe it's supposed to be like grape scented because that's that's what's on our fingers. And then I also have the 3000 piece glitter uh, Admiral Thrawn. I, I guess it's diamond technically, but those are the other three that I got. And I guess that's my uh, my entire haul that I got at uh, the fungal booth. But folks, my backup plan for now is I have a couple of things book not over on whatnot. I have an original Hello Kitty from the Sanrio category that I have bookmarked that I'm probably gonna buy since I didn't end up buying anything at San Diego Comic-Con. So we'll see if they accept my offer and we'll just go from there. But either way, folks, I found some great things over over at SDCC. You'll have to let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite thing that I came across or picked up with the Funko Booth stuff. Guys, also be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos in this episode. Hopefully we can wrap it up soon. It is just hard to find places, you know, in an entertaining way that I can finish off this series, whether it be at conventions or different shows. Well, I'll have to figure out something. Thank you so much for watching again, guys. You guys are awesome and the best. Like always, remember to be kind of one another, always promote positivity. I will see you in the next video. Catch you guys later.